Welcome to ClearLine's resource video. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to properly route and install a six-strand multimode Fusion Splice fibers into a ClearLine SHD splice cassette. Required equipment and materials. ClearLine's SHD SC06-MM. What's inside the box? Six-strand SC multi-mode pigtails, two splice trays, 24 splice protector sleeves, six Velcro pieces, and six zip ties. Now, let's prepare the installation of your splice cassette. First, remove all items inside the splice cassette and set aside one splice tray, one zip tie, and two Velcro pieces. Now remove the adapter plate by flexing the side panel and gently removing the pigtails from the winding area. Next, pre-install one zip tie to the cable entry point. In this case, I will be using the left entry point. Remove grommet from cable entry and cut the grommet using snips, creating an opening for your cable and slide onto fiber. Now, Using a ruler or tape measure, remove the cable jacket to expose 20 inches or 50 centimeters of the 900 micron fibers. Also, measure and cut pigtails to 20 inch lengths. Now prepare, cleave, and complete fusion splice of all fibers and install splice protector sleeves onto splice tray. Next, install the splice tray onto the bottom housing Ensure the pigtails exit the splice tray towards the rear and the incoming fiber towards the adapter plate position. Now secure the incoming fiber with zip tie, taking care not to over tighten and route the incoming fiber clockwise. Next, route the pigtails clockwise to secure all fibers inside the cable management area of the housing. Next, snap in the adapter plate to the housing and ensure that all fibers are within the cable management area. Now use Velcro to loosely secure the fibers together. Next, install the top cover. You have now completed the installation of your fusion spliced fibers into the ClearLine high density splice cassette. Thank you for watching our instructional video. For more information, please visit our website at www.clearline.com forward slash resources.